you would assume that Tyrese would deck his house out with fast cars from the other movie franchise that he's been a part of for the last million years. Fast and the Furious, but his obsession with cars went to a whole new level because he decided to stunt on everyone in Hollywood by adding a massive bumblebee replica from Transformers in the foyer of his Georgia home. And when I say massive, I mean gigantic. I'm not exaggerating. I'm gonna tell you more about it after the intro. Welcome back to Famous Fashion, where we give you the inside scoop on some of the richest celebrities and the things that they spend their money on. I'm your host, Azalea Hart. Tell me a movie that you love so much that you'd be willing to decorate your house with things from that movie. I can't wait to read these comments. I'll be responding to so make it good. Be sure to check out some more videos that I've done and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit me up on Instagram at Azalea Zoe and let me know who you'd like to see a video on. For now, let's get into this one. Well, I guess when you have a home that's 25,000 square feet, you gotta get real creative when it comes to decorating. Tyrese is the envy of every Transformer lover because not only does he have a mini Optimus Prime in his home office, he also has a huge one in its own covered shelter in the backyard. I guess just in case it needs to fight crime or whatever Transformers do. There's another one by the pool and then the star of the show, a replica of Bumblebee in the foyer. Imagine walking into his house already being in awe of the size of his estate, but then, Bumblebee. <laughs> so the small ones are about 3.5 feet tall. I see, like right here. And then the two big ones are around 11.5 feet and actually made with car parts, metal, and steel. So you know these babies are heavy AF. So you're probably wondering, why would a grown man have these things? Well, I'll tell you. One, he can afford it. And it's his money and it's his house and he can do what he wants. But truly, he said it's him staying in touch with his childhood dreams and I think we can all appreciate that. So tell me. What movie is part of your childhood dream? Comment down below. I feel like I would love to have a sort of jungle-like backyard and then have Jurassic Park vibes and dinosaurs. But then again, that might scare the shit out of me. I gotta think on this one. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and follow me on Instagram at Azalea Zoe. I'll see you in the next video.